Good Friday morning. We're on the road back to Texas. John chapter 16. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own, but what he hears he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, and he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The work of the Holy Spirit. It's always to glorify Jesus. Spirit-filled life is a life in which Jesus is central. And the one who matures is the one who grows deeper in their understanding of Jesus. How encompassing is this teaching? All. Jesus tells us all that the Father has is mine. Therefore, I said, he will take what is mine and declare it to you. So, does all include things that aren't spiritual? Is it right for a Christian to study secular subjects that have nothing to do with the Bible? Of course. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 that all things are yours, and you are of Christ, and Christ is of God. And Paul Speaking of Jesus, tells us in Colossians, In him are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. As you investigate any realm of knowledge or science, if you do so in reliance upon the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and Jesus' teaching in your life, he's going to open the truth about that to you. George Washington Carver was born a slave. He managed to get an education as a scientist. He said that the hunger of his heart was to discover the secrets of the universe. But God said to him, George, that's too big for you. I've got something more your size. You take a peanut and you work on that. And so he began to investigate what God has hidden in a peanut. He found over 300 different products that could be made from the peanut, revolutionizing the technology of his day. But he always remained a simple, Bible-believing servant of God who relied upon God to open his mind to truth. That's what Jesus means when he says, All that belongs to the Father is mine, and it will be made available to you through the Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you that you would share with me all that the Father has. Teach me to listen to what your Spirit is saying to me through your word and whatever knowledge you would have me to learn from. Holy Spirit, help me to learn to think like Jesus, that I may better comprehend my world. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.